And the reason why you want to chronograph a rifle or your factory ammunition, your hand loads is because a lot of manufacturer data that is out there that's marketed uh, isn't accurate. You're not running the same rifle that the manufacturer or the factory or the ammo company is running. So therefore you have to qualify and quantify what you're doing on your reloading bench and what that factory ammo is doing in your rifle. So the biggest thing is using the Magneto Speed V3, getting it hooked onto a rifle, getting the proper alignment, um, and then shooting your, your samples. All right, you're doing a sample of the batch of ammunition and you're trying to define some, some, some uh, factors. Your maximum, your minimum, and your average velocity, plus your extreme spread and your standard deviation. The average velocity, one variable that is going into your ballistic solution from your chronograph. Standard deviation, all that is is a sample standard deviation. The deviation from the average of all the shots in your series. And then extreme spread. Extreme spread is the range, the difference between your maximum and your minimum velocity in that sample. That's your vertical dispersion. If you have a very large ES, your rounds are going to land in a more vertical pattern. If you have a smaller ES, they will land more tightly. 